Hi, this is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon, and by way of review, in the video that appeared on this page two days ago, we talked about the ability of Video Surgeon to uh, loop a video, to slow a video down, and to zoom in. And let me just, for purposes of refreshing your memory, or for those of you that may not have seen that, just very, very briefly show you this. I've got loop points set right down here. So if we go ahead and let this thing play. You can see that it hit the in loop point and, and went back to the beginning and started to play again. So that's one feature, the looping. The second is the ability to slow this down. We can drag hold of this slider and let's, let's pull this down to, oh, let's say 70%. And then when we play this back, we're more able uh, to, to see and to follow along with what he's doing. And of course, while that's helpful, being able to slow down and being able to loop, wouldn't it be so much better if you could also zoom, which of course in Video Surgeon you can. We're just going to show you here. So we've zoomed in and now we're going to loop. Uh, between these two loop points, we're going to loop while it's slowed down and we're going to obviously do this while it's zoomed in as well. there you can see we hit the beginning or the ending loop point and we're back at the beginning now. So that's a brief review of what we looked at last time. Uh, today we're going to switch gears a little bit and I just want to talk about sources of video because there are really three sources of video that you can use for video surgeon. And the first is just simply to um, click and go ahead and open something uh, that you may have locally on your computer and um, it really doesn't matter what it is you can just go ahead and um, open it up on your computer and if I click this button here you'll see that um, we have a video that's going to start to play so one source therefore is the ability to open files that are on your computer the second is that if you have a DVD in which you have guitar footage on or a guitar lesson that you may have purchased on the internet you can also rip those from the DVD and open them on Video Surgeon. And you'd use this particular button here. You would simply browse to wherever your DVD is. You'd go into the Video TS and you will see a group of .vob files, which are the files that you're going to find on any normal uh, DVD. And those are the files that video, video Surgeon can rip and open for you. So that is the second source uh, of files that you can use in Video Surgeon. And then the third source is, or are I should say, those files that you don't download from the internet. And you download those by using this little sniffer window as we call it. And when you click the uh, sniffer window button over here, it opens this other little window um, and then as you begin to browse the internet using your browser and play videos, you'll see those videos populate this window and then it allows you to download those and I'm going to show you um, how that works. Okay, as you can see here, I have opened YouTube in my browser. I'm using IE and I have the little sniffer window up here in my upper right hand corner and I'm just going to show you real quickly how this works and it's quite simple essentially you know you find a video that you might be interested in if you go ahead and double click it and start it to play as soon as you do that you can see what happens here is that video surgeon has detected a link uh, of a video that's playing and it populates this little window with that link and tells you that it's an FLV file and it's 9.57 megabytes and um, we can do any number of these and as we do that here again you can see it populates the sniffer window again um, here's a third and as you can see it populates it again now once you've done that and if you select a video that you'd like to download you just simply select download and play for example 
and I'm going to just call this um, YouTube example. And I'm going to select Save, and as you can see, it downloads the video, and as it's downloading it, you can see that the color of this little box turns orange to signify um, that it's downloading it, and then once the download is complete, it turns it to green. And then that video will actually open up in Video Surgeon, um, and I can show you over the here. Sequence is a 16th note sequence here it is. Across the a minor so this is the video we've downloaded. It is now opened in Video Surgeon, and it's ready for you to play. For you to use whether you zoom in or slow down or slow the tempo or set loop points so all of those things you can do so that's essentially all there is to it you play a video in your browser and video surgeon detects it allows you to download it and once you've downloaded it then you can go ahead and use it in video surgeon now a couple of things about this first of all it does not work on every site but based upon our testing it works on approximately 90 percent of all websites that have video that's number one number two it works on all of the major um, video sharing sites like youtube um, yahoo video google video meta cafe break daily motion the list goes on and on it works on all of those sites and as a guitarist you're going to be happy to know that it works on most of the major guitar um, video sites, whether it's Guitar Tricks or Vanderbilly or uh, Guitar Masterclass, and there's a long list. I'll put those up here on the screen for you in just a second. But it works on all of those sites as well. So you can go to those sites, you can browse, you can play a video, and when you play a video in your browser, um, Video Surgeon will find it, detect it, and allow you to download it. So that's, that's a great feature to have. And really, it becomes a mechanism by which you can download and save and create lessons, your own sort of individualized, customized lesson that you can then save on your computer. And I'm not going to go into it today, but you have the ability here to save those as project files so you can save whatever um, loop point settings that you might make if you set up loop points and uh, if you change the tempo, if you change the pitch, uh, if you zoom in, all of those things can be saved as a project file so the next time you open it in Video Surgeon, those things are reapplied to the same video. So that's going to conclude this lesson. I just want to encourage you, if you haven't already done so, that down toward the bottom of this page that you're watching this video on, there is a form. I encourage you to fill it out because what it will do is two things. Number one, it will give you a link to download the demo so you can actually try this yourself right now. You don't have to wait. You don't have to buy it. You can try the demo. That's number one. Number two, we're going to be giving away 10 copies of Video Surgeon in this drawing and you have a chance to win one of those 10 copies free. So why don't you go ahead and take just 15 or 20 seconds, fill out that form. If you have any comments you'd like to leave us, there's a space there to leave comments. But go ahead and register and you'll be entered for the drawing and as well you'll get a, uh, a link to download the demo and use it. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I look forward to talking with you again in the future. Thanks. Bye.